what boys fair play EA fair play this new Eto and new Lofa I'm mean, I I always butcher this his last name but this new Lofa and Eto SBC these SBCs from EA are the best value Prime Icon Moments SBCs we've had all year. Boys, welcome to a Prime Moments Lofa review. We might get an Eto of the art. Let me know if you would like to see an Eto review. But currently, here's a Bronze Squad, a Silver Squad, so just ignore them. An 80 rated, an 83 rated, 86 rated, 87, and an 88. And for a Prime Moments Icon Lofa, this looks absolutely phenomenal. I've used him in draft. I really liked him. So let's put him to a full test in Foot Champions. So boys, his current card is going on the market for roughly 1.1 million coins now you will be seeing this price crash within a few days i would probably see him go under 1 million coins at some point um now his spc once he's only been out for literally 11 minutes it has not updated on footbin but if i had to guess i'll probably say his spc is coming in at around 700 to 900 thousand coins in that area so not only is it 200 thousand coins cheaper to do his spc than buy his normal card it is also you can craft it through the new 80 plus play picks and the 82 to 88 plus play picks are phenomenal as well but having a brief look at his stats he's five foot nine his high high work rates are absolutely beautiful he is right footed he's got a three star skill moves with a four star weak foot as for attributes we've gone ahead and put an engine on him putting him to 99 acceleration that must need plus five sprint speed as well to 92 shooting looks really solid his passing looks phenomenal gets a plus 10 curve boost goes to both 99 short and long passing as well with that engine um also the reason you want the engine right he gets that plus five agility and that plus 10 balance and plus 10 dribble are the three stats you need to improve under that dribbling section and you all get that ticked off with an engine defending is phenomenal physical his strength is he's not the strongest but i mean his physical stands up really nicely some really good stamina um I'll, i will be using him as a box to box intimidation you know I, I put this around the wrong way so i'll put him for bruno and we'll bring back viera so we're going to be using viera as our dm in a 4-3-1-2 acuna right center mid and mafia so once again i'm sorry i'm probably going to butcher this name so i'm just going to call him lofar we're going to be using low far at left center mid uh, other than that boys this card looks insane as for player traits he's got a power free kick outside of a foot shot and just some cpu ii I, I ones um now it looks like he's i mean he's a bit of a he's a buy and inter and gladback legend he's a legend at lots of different clubs i rate this as we see a lot from ea fair play let's get into it boys so hopping in to the first game now we were playing foot champs and as of recording we were six and one so as you can see he's coming in at seven hundred thousand coins to craft on both a PS4 and Xbox, and he is now his price has now dropped down to 980,000 coins. So if you want to craft him, he's still 250k. That's a quarter of a million coins cheaper. Plus, you can craft him for. I say free, you can craft them through, you know, grinding bronze packs, grinding 80 plus player picks and all that good stuff. Now, as you can see, it listed as a pros, it is his 91 pace, it's his 92 passing and 93 defending. His shooting and physical was fine, but it was nothing to, you know, take note of, especially the 80 strength. You can't really list physical as a pro if he does have that 80 strength there, but that stamina especially is phenomenal and the high, high work rate. So if you're using a box-to-box -box center mid, like using him as a box-to-box -box center mid like I did myself, he's perfect for it. He's got the high, high work rates, um, but also he's got the 94 stamina to go with it. If you guys have a high, high work rate center mid, sometimes even like 90 stamina isn't even enough because they're running all over the pitch. But as you can see, Lofar picks it up here, and we time back through to Roberto Carlos after. I think he intercepted that earlier on as well. He was absolutely phenomenal, like genuinely his passing is is just it made this game fun again lads he he's one of those classic players passing absolutely exceptional now lads honestly the pros or sorry the cons is a 79 agility he is not the smoothest on the ball he's 5'9 i believe he's got an average body type and the 79 agility is a little bit disappointing three star skills now three star skills if you are using him out wide like as a, a box to box center mid like i am myself i used him i had acuna and viera as my defensive center mids and i had my lofa as like a you know a more box to box type of dude um so he was literally attacking and defensively he was he was just everywhere let's just say that he was absolutely everywhere now i believe this play started from low far sadly ito does miss this but look at this lads this right here is an incredible assist as you can see he picks up the ball and he picks dembele out onside my opponent tries to offside trap me it's not enough keepers off his line what an assist from low far 
that is genuinely insane. Now, also, like I said, the freestyle skills is not necessary, um, but still, it is a con if you are using him as a box to box and you do want to go attacking a little bit. And as for traits, it is a power free kick, and I believe there was a was other trait, a uh, outside the foot shot trait. Now, as for the ratings. 9.6 for performance. It was absolutely phenomenal. He performed brilliant for me. So a 9.6 out of 10. As for value, now I cannot get like how is this card so cheap? Let's just say that. I, I know there was leaks on Twitter um, of people saying like there's some new good SBCs coming, some new icon SBCs. I was not expecting it to be this good. I was expecting, you know, maybe like I don't know the, the Maradona and Henri SBCs. Yeah, they're not overpriced. They're not underpriced. But they are very bloody expensive just for top tier cards. But no, this is even better. The fact that you can get basically an end game box to box and you can craft them for only 700k, which is 250k cheaper uh, than his actual card on the market, is absolutely class. So for value, it's got to be a 9.9. .9. The reason it's not a 10 is because hey, it's not the cheapest in the world. As for enjoyment rating, I literally said earlier, this brings enjoyment back into the game. That pass especially, like, he, he's just a classic midfielder. He's just a classic box-to-box -box midfielder, icon, end game, just phenomenal. That's the only way you can describe it. Now, as for overall, what we do is we add the performance, value, and enjoyment rating together. We then divide that by three, giving us an overall rating. So today, the overall rating was a 9.6 out of 10 which is the highest rating i've ever given since i've you know switched to this new review style we've done acuna we've done path to glory hazard we've done three of the uh new summer stars cards and now we've got lofa who is tight he's a tree top there 9.6 out of 10 absolutely phenomenal i would not recommend this enough now i would like to you you know use this last part of the video to answer some questions that i feel like i will get and i was actually curious myself comparing him to certain players now if i was to say is he the best box to box centre mid in the game? I would say no. I would personally still put um uh, what's his name? Team of Year Bruno Fernandez and that new ninety is it ninety seven Kimmich or ninety six Kimmich? I don't know. The new Summer Stars Kimmich who's got a four star four star. I would honestly put Kimmich maybe on the same tier or a little bit above. Um, the only thing that worry, worries me about Kimmich is his really poor acceleration compared to his sprint speed. But nonetheless, I feel like Kimmich is just a tiny bit better team of year Bruno as well. And then, But like in terms of icon box-to-box sentiments, Lofar really is as good as it can get. And I would like just recommend buying this card, lads. He's absolutely phenomenal. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to work on an Eto review because um, we obviously recorded both at the same time, which is very, very handy. Now foot champs ready, tick. Division rivals ready, tick. Does he bring fun back into the game, tick. Is he meta as hell, massive tick. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new and you do want to help me out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I mean, hey, don't have any, don't have any doubts about it, boys. Pick this card up. He's absolutely phenomenal. See you later, lads.